It has only been a minute since Cardi B made her famous trip to Africa. Performing at the Lightspot X Festival in Nigeria and Ghana, a concert hosted by digital agency Lightspot Nation. The two days event took place on the 7th and 8th of December in Lagos and Accra, Ghana consecutively. Top African artists joined the international rap star to create a memorable night of good music and entertainment for the nation. However, as we all know, not all went according to plan. The event was successful in Nigeria while Ghana received the opposite. Cardi B had a great 48 hours in Nigeria and had less than 24 hours in Ghana, which kind of became a dramatic disaster after some Ghanaian celebrities called her out on social media for snobbing them during a meet and greet. I was so disappointed, you know. I was officially invited alongside with other celebrities to come and have a meet and greet with Cardi B. But guess what? The organizers didn't even let her show up. I came to the poolside and here she was chewing kebab. Lifespot X Festival in Ghana was even a bigger disaster just because artist fans were looking forward to meeting were late while some didn't turn up at all. After waiting for hours for their favorite artists, concert goers got upset and reacted by throwing plastic bottles on the stage. It took the intervention of Grammy Award winning singer Cardi B's timely performance to save the day. She was introduced on stage earlier than anticipated in an attempt to calm down the angry crowd. While the music concert had a massive success in Nigeria, including Cardi B's visit, the Ghana Festival is classified by people as the biggest flop ever in the history of Ghana concerts. <laughs> guys, it's Nolene here for African Glitz. And here are 11 reasons why we think Cardi B's Lagos visit and concert was so different from Ghana. One word. Summarize your experience so far. One word. Interesting. Interesting. <coughs> yes. Okay, Number one, the pay. According to Africa Fact Zone, Cardi B was paid $1 million to perform in Nigeria and 800 k to perform in Ghana. Could this be why Shita Wale, Sakodi, and Petrankin didn't show up for the event? Just because during the Nigerian concert, all the artists announced on the flyer showed up and did their thing, and fans had a great time. Number 2. The Event Days in Nigeria, the music concert took place on a Saturday, which can be classified as mid-weekend. Saturday is a perfect day to have a gig as people will have time to recover on a Sunday before going back to work on a Monday. However, in Ghana, the event took place on a Sunday evening, and as we can imagine, it's a terrible night for a huge concert that will allow concert goers to get home very late. The event days obviously had an impact on the event, and that takes us to Number 3. The Time Timing is everything. It allows organizers to plan correctly. Without a doubt, the organizers of Lightspot X Festival in Nigeria also organized the Ghana Festival. But to finish one big concert in one country and head to another country right away to hold another similar festival without planning correctly can be a disaster, just based on the fact that most of the artists will be tired. A good example is international rapper Cardi B's work ethic. By the time she arrived in Ghana, she was already exhausted but still managed to put on an excellent performance. Number 4. The Celebrities There was no meet and greet organized for Cardi B and Nigerian celebrities, so why do that in Ghana? Cardi B also claimed that she wasn't aware of the meet and greet. This could also be because she didn't have one in Nigeria. Also, having fewer hours in Ghana, it's common sense that she can only do so much more within 24 hours. The best idea could have been hitting the club with Ghanaian Slay Queens after the show. She even suggested this, but it seems like it didn't happen anyway. <laughs> Number 5. The Organizers 
The organizers of the event did so well in Nigeria, but failed to carry out the same energy and work ethic in Ghana. Apart from the Queen of the Bronx failing to meet some Ghana celebs, the concert itself was poorly organized and most of the famous artists were no show. According to concert goers, the event ended abruptly. Number 6. The Hospitality Cardi B had a decent amount of time to give and receive hospitality in Nigeria. Arriving on Thursday the 5th of December evening, she was able to go for media rounds on Friday, shop in Abuja Mall, took photos with fans and visited the orphanage. While in Ghana, she had less than 24 hours. She was tired and suffering from tummy ache. She wasn't able to go around the city or meet up for media rounds. While all this was going on, some Ghanaian celebrities went online to call her out. Kaibi B will be available at 8.30 p.m. As you have food, you know how much my time costs. I go to wedding 40 minutes and I take 10,000. I'm coming up to 2,000. I just sit here and wait for Kaibi B. The cheap, talentless, famous celebrities they need, they can do it. Number 7. The Energy and Vibe Cardi B brought and received the same energy to Nigeria. The people were thrilled to see her and even kids were chasing her car. She also looked happy visiting Nigeria and also took to social media to give the world a glimpse of the country. The Queen of Rab did not receive enough energy and good vibe from Ghanaians. Instead, some of their celebrities took to social media to call her out, making fun of her eating kebab instead of spending some time with them. As a professional artist, despite all, Cardi B followed some African celebs who showed her some love during her African visit on social media. Number 8. The People Talking about hospitality, the organizers of the event made sure Cardi B had a great hospitality in Nigeria. While in Ghana, she wasn't shown around the city. She did not even know she had a meet and greet with the celebrities, who weren't happy at the end. Cardi B mentioned that she wanted to take the stars out after her show, but it looks like it did not happen. We guess not after they went online to call her out. However, she was spotted at the nightclub having some good time with friends. Number 9. The Event Concert goers in Ghana were very disappointed with the festival compared to the Nigerian event that went so well. Ghanaians are saying the festival was the worst they've seen in years. People who trooped into the Accra Sports Station to witness the historic event at the end of the day rated it the biggest flop in Ghana's entertainment industry. Famous singers such as Shitawale and Sakode who were billed to perform at the event was no show. Concert goers who stood for hours waiting to witness their favorite Ghanaian artists perform left the show after hours of waiting. Number 10. Music Cardi B wants to work with so many Nigerians who are currently popping. She is already working with Davido and will also like to work with the likes of Bonaboy, Timaya and many more. Could this also be why she was more invested in Nigerian artists compared to Ghana singers? With Shitawale and Sakodi being a no-show at the concert, isn't a good sign or a good business move and might have reduced their chances of working with their world singer in the nearest future. Number 11. Familiarity Cardi B is more familiar with Nigerian artists who are doing so great internationally. From Bonaboy, whose 2019 has been an exceptional one, to Davido, Whiskey, and Tiwa Savage. Cardi B, as we can see in this video, is so excited working with Davido. Can't wait to release the remix of his award-winning single Fall, which was what she was vibing on her way to Africa. So there you have it. Cardi B truly enjoyed her stay in Nigeria and Ghana, and no doubt will possibly be visiting again in the nearest future. We hope when she does, she will spend more time in Nigeria and Ghana. Do you think Cardi B truly gave Ghana her best? Do you think Cardi B would like to visit Africa again after all the drama? Voice your opinion on the comment section down below.
If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If this is your first time watching our video and you enjoyed it, why not check out our channel for more trending stories and news. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell sign to be notified every time we upload a new video. Just in time for the festive season, same wave is expanding across Europe. People in Spain, Italy and Ireland can now download the app and start using SendWave to enjoy quick, reliable and zero transfer fee. Make sure to use our promo code GLITZ to have £10 or €10 Euro added to your first transfer. Oh yes, it's that easy. Just download the app on Google Play or Apple Store and enjoy sending money to your loved ones in Africa. Don't miss out this Christmas period and stop paying transfer fees and try WAVE today. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.